Which oh. I guess presume like he knows it's a problem, but we'll see beautiful if he does intro. it. We'll see what he chooses. The protagonist. So Shiman, you were right, he goes Falcon here. And he's eating a lot of lasers. And we saw Dogs Johnson versus the protagonist earlier. Dogs is hitting him with a lot of aerials, fast fall off the top plat. Let's see how Shiman approaches Shiman's it. opting to... Ah, uh, you gotta go for two, right? Yeah, he needed the second one. He would have been fine with it. Oh, Great shield jump, yeah. but back throw is probably gonna be enough to, yeah, snipe the jump. Interesting that protagonist plays at this level, and that isn't in his repertoire. I mean, I'm surprised because I feel like it's very standard in this matchup. And there was a fast fall aerial. A oh. great drift, but uh, you, <coughs> you hate to see that happen. Yeah, he's mad at himself because it was more difficult to make it back initially. Yeah, once you're in that position, he was under 100. He was on the ledge. Falcon was above him. He had pretty much free reign to get back to the, underneath the platform. But Oh, grab wars. Ooh. And there's another. Wow. Great reaction down yeah. tilt. Yeah, he fast falls that F air from the top plat, and that reactionary down tilt gets the protagonist out of trouble. Great duck. Now, Shiman try and really play around these lasers. The protagonist throws a lot of lasers at you. Wow, and he ducks under the that set of lasers there. Great fastball aerial. Back air, they bait back him air. in. Still that's no perfect, jump here. Yeah, that's a, a perfect way to edge guard Fox. And he knows there's no jump. Either one. Air, yeah. He hits the blast zone regardless, but I guess he would have hit the blast zone from an up B as well. Right. I think that's exactly what the protagonist needs now, uh, is being able to challenge that top platform. Up air. Ooh, shine turn around, but ooh, that fair grab. Great angle. Yeah, he's able to get under Sheem in there. Very nicely and he done. he gets the low laser to snipe. Uh, oh. Uh, the protagonist had a shot there, getting uh, getting this game evened up. Oh. oh, comes off a little early. Maybe wants to avoid getting caught. That fastball forward air. Yeah, protagonist, he just may not have the the reaction time to deal with Falcon's speed. But I'm wondering if he's going to eventually start challenging the top platform because Fox does have up air. Yeah. And he has back air, and he can instant land on the top as well. Perfect land, I should say. Oh, nice run in there. Let's. Doesn't really do much for the edge guard, though. Oh, oh. chokes he's on both sides. It looked like he wanted to turn around, jab, maybe. Yeah. Right, they're both back on the stage. Great crouch cancel. Oh, Red laser forward tilt. Yeah. Nicely covers any uh any jump from Falcon with that laser, and the F tilt is just enough. Just there we quick go. enough as well. On the ledge, but. Ooh, oh, great very shine. good shine. But not enough uh, commitment there. Yeah. Shiman did a Again. great job of DIing and making it back. Yep, that's it. I feel like every situation, every bad situation the protagonist has been in has been due to a fastball aerial from the top left. I might agree with you. Um, or, you know, certain mistakes like where they were kind of turning around versus each other trying yeah. to punch and or jab rather, and he uh, he did that forward air or forward smash on the ledge. His brother, his twin, if you will. <laughs> Not twins, yeah. But. So he's gonna get some advice from his brother there. And Shiman. Uh, Shiman getting no couching. Up a game right now. Feeling probably pretty comfy. I think if, if the protagonist can do a better job with edge guarding, this uh, this set can look very different. Yeah. Because the neutral, he he's not falling very far behind, if at all, in the neutral. It's just protagonist is. Is he playing it too safe, really, for his own good? Because I, I I think I that think he might be on these edge guards. Yeah, I think it's, but that's like his play style. Uh, yeah, but that's like his you error get a down tilt, run, run off and shine yeah. against Falcon, right? And I mean, we've seen him blow edge guards because he opted for one aerial instead of two, instead of trusting Fox's recovery, instead of a yeah. full aerial immediately to start. But great DI. Oh, that's rough. Oh! Wow, good angle, and Sheeman right, maybe doesn't expect it. Right there was an opportunity. Up. Go for that shine. Go for, you know what I mean? I think uh, a little bit of aggression at this point may benefit protagonists. Yeah. Because a lot of foxes see success in doing that. And he's going to get on stage from being passive. Yeah, sometimes aggression 
will help you. I mean, someone, some, I can't remember where the quote's from, but they said, uh, I'll take angry over scared any day. Ooh. Catches the shield jump. I think it is Logan Nine Fingers from, uh, yeah, the first Law Trilogy. Thank you, Dark Horse. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, baby. I've never seen that kind of hitbox. Oh, uh, the grab throw, but Shima misses, misses his da dash. Christ, I'm a mini skirt, I can't speak. Easy. Edge yeah, good edge guard there from Shiman. You see, he's not afraid to go out there, and I'd like to see the same thing from Protagonist. He ducks under that gun. second laser. Protag he has been able to get some of these lasers low enough. Oh, oh, but he mistimes the grab. That is what you despise. Like, you cannot lose stocks like that. You had the tech roll. Yeah, and that's an edge guard. You, the protagonist, at this level, he needs to get that. You're yeah. not going to beat Sheeman if you're letting him back when you, when you just shouldn't, you know? You can't let him have too many of those. He's too good of a player. Absolutely. Protagonist lost stocks. Is that the second stock he's lost? Just on, like, an edge guard he should have had? I don't know if it was the second, but, I mean, in the set. Here's another. There's been a few, right? <laughs> yeah. There's another. So that's two at least. So he's got a long road to, to come back here. Three stocks for Sheeman still. He's a little too far away to get that grab after sticking that laser. Yeah, his... Uh choice to not pursue at the top platform, I think, is very is really hurting him. Great tech chase from Sheeman. He follows up with a grab. I think he wanted a plat drop up there. I missed that one. Bro. Sniped. Okay. Yeah. I think, you know, as Fox, you want to put out, jump out with that slow fall back air, which you can usually follow up with a second rising back air, and then just recover against Falcon. Yeah, he's, he's really focusing on going for shine, like down tilt shine, and it hasn't paid off yet. But I haven't seen him attempt to shine after the down tilt either. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he's hoping that Shiman maybe comes off the ledge. I think if, she, if Shiman jumps up looking for a down air, he's hoping that he ends up catching the ledge after uh, up being straight up as Fox, but. Right. So he's going to get some advice from his brother. Let's hope he's telling him to be more assertive and, aggress and aggressive on these edge guards. Yeah, like, put in. He has the situations, right? He's there. He's right there, so. And he's also just not, another part of it, he's just not being a threat to Shiman at no. all. Like, he's shooting some lasers, but Shiman's just taking the damage, evading some, and just going to the top platform, getting his fastball aerial punish. Right. Every time. And when you're not a threat to someone, they can do whatever they want. Yeah. And part of this matchup is that they are both glass cannons, right? Like, you expect a fox to finish off Falcon when he gets him off stage. Yeah. And likewise, you expect a fox to die off a hit. Yeah. And we've seen it happen just on one side. Right. And it's a sh it's it's incredible that it's still this close, despite that. So it shows you how good protagonist's neutral is, and I think his reaction time, you know, that certain things is so good. Occasionally we see him make mistakes, you know, some dash attacks here and there, and, yeah. and F smashes that he didn't intend, but. Beautiful, to the top plat. And it's enough to kill. Oh, oh yeah, precarious situation there for him. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> a couple extra rolls on the side plat there. Uh, you don't want to land in front of Falcon like that. Yeah, and the trades with a down air. Uh, this tough. is looking a little yeah. rough. Finally tries to <laughs> to get to the top platform with some kind of aerial, but he just wasn't there anymore. He doesn't even rush in after that second laser. He has been trying for that grab. There's that fastball air heal, but... Uh, standing with. laser. Jab. Yeah, and let's see if he finishes off. He really needs to. An edge hog. There it is, and that's the first time we've seen him do it. I'm sure that that advice came from his brother. <laughs> Please grab the ledge, says Dad. Fastball forward air, roll away. Oh, and a great, great wait. wake up. Yeah. Or attack on the wake up. Oh, oh and he SD. misses the stage. He's... Oh, troublesome. Reverse up air. Trade. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be it. Trade. And you saw it kind of happen. You saw the, pro you saw yeah. the protagonist kind of like facepalm 